Summer is in full swing from hot chicken to cool sundresses. I'm sharing some of my favorite people, places, and products with you on today's show. First, you'll come with me to Chicken Guy in downtown Nashville for a conversation with Guy Fieri to find out why he loves Music City so much and why he's traveling through Tennessee with family and friends and RVs. Then, we're going to crack up with local writer and comedian Kelly Bandis. Her first book, Rookie Mistakes, is helping us find humor in life's difficult moments and perhaps explain why it's so hard to find mom friends. Next, I'm chatting with Christian recording artist Colton Dixon to discuss his latest single, a new TV show, and what makes his family dynamic so unique. Finally, I'm showing off and trying on the hottest dresses of summer so you know exactly what to pack and wear on your next vacation. So grab something cool to drink and text a friend you want to get away with because this is The Sammy Cohn Show. From the News Channel 5 Network, this is The Sammy Cohn Show. Nashville is known for its chicken, but I'm standing somewhere where chicken is really making a name for itself in Nashville. That's right, Chicken Guy at downtown Nashville is unlike any chicken you've ever had for a number of reasons, and we're gonna explore exactly why with the namesake himself today. Let's go check it out. Was it intimidating opening up a chicken restaurant here? I, I figure if I'm going to, it's go big or go home. And, uh, you know, Prince's Fried Chicken is probably one of the hot chicken there. It's one of my favorite places in the whole world. Okay. I have one of their frying pans at home hanging on the wall. How did you get that away from? I, I'm telling you, I went back and sweet docked them enough times. I think that they just had to get rid of me. They get, take the pan and he'll leave. But one of my favorites. And I really have such respect for how people appreciate their fried chicken. I think the way we make fried chicken, I think the, the process from natural, not frozen, antibiotic free, pressure fried, hand battered, from the sauces to the recipes, it's all chef driven. And I figure if we're gonna be able to, if we're gonna do it, bring it to the epicenter of fried chicken, bring it to Nashville. Now some may say, there's some other restaurants that do chicken. What sets Chicken Guy apart? Guy always has a unique twist on all of his recipes, restaurants, and everything. So he he wanted to create a, a restaurant, a, a, the chicken, where it's everything's fresh, brought to you fresh, you know, uh, everything's hand-pounded, breaded, in store. We have 22 sauces, which is the unique portion of, of this concept, you know, so you can have a different experience each time you come. All right, we're in Nashville. Guy, when, can you just talk to me about when did you go from like Food Network star auditions to having multiple shows and your family touring around in RVs? Can you take me through? <laughs> oh, I don't know that we have enough time to go through that whole hot mess, but uh, no, we, we love Nashville, and I've got, this is all my friends and family back here. We have six families, six big RVs. We've been traveling around uh, the greater Nashville, Tennessee area. We've been to Pigeon Forge to our downtown Flavortown restaurant. It's just been great. Why here? Like, you've just said why Nashville's so important, but why is it important to bring people into Nashville? And to, for this is your first Nashville restaurant, correct? First Nashville restaurant, hopefully to do a lot more. Here's what it is. If people think that Nashville is just country music, they're not getting it. There is a ton going on. There's an awesome food scene, awesome uh, entertainment scene, the, and the people of Tennessee are so friendly. Yeah. It's great culture, it's great family, there's so much to do, it's great weather. It's just been such an eye opener for everybody, including myself. Uh, you know, I've, I've shot Triple D in various parts of Tennessee, but I got to see so much. Um, just really been a, a great trip. We've been on the road for two weeks. Today's the last day, and we thought we'd wrap it up here in Nashville at Chicken Guy, and it's been, uh, having my boys work on the line's been awesome. And can you talk a little bit about why this restaurant and why downtown in particular? One of the first places we wanted to come was the Nashville market, and specifically downtown. And we're here on 2nd Avenue where, you know, there's been some, there, there were some issues with the bombing a few years ago, and, you know, we went ahead and just moved forward with our project because we know it's, going to rebuild and go from there. You were starting out one time, like you said, you couldn't have imagined all this. What advice would you give to your kids, kids that are watching, that want to do something bigger than they could even dream of? How would you advise them? Well, I, I really believe in putting it out to the universe. If you can talk about what you want to be and what you want to do and what you want to become, 
Tell people about it. Share that message with people. You never know when you're going to run into somebody that says, really, you want to be a chef? Okay, come down to my restaurant and I'll, and I'll help you. Hey, you want, you want to be a mechanic? You'll be a race car driver. Whatever you may want to be, um, if you'll tell people about it and you'll send it to the universe, as I say, I think that there are people like myself that want to help the younger generation, you know, inspire. Here's my, that's my goddaughter, Trinity. She wanted to help today. I said, great, you're the saw slinger. You know, and she's here. I got a couple of my cousins working the front registers. They all want a little bit of experience. It can happen. You just got to... You just gotta let people know. Nashville's Second Avenue was really impacted after those horrific Christmas bombings. But as you can see, we are coming back stronger than ever. Downtown is being restored and revitalized with amazing establishments, music, restaurants, especially like here at Chicken Guy. So come check it out and see what Music City is all about.